Hi everyone and welcome to this latest recording today as part of our partnership network. Today we're joined by Jake Rhodes from Golf Genius. So before we get into our presentation, we'll just let Jake tell you a little bit about himself and what he does at Golf Genius. Hi Darren, good to be with you. Uh, so yeah, my role is obviously international sales manager at Golf Genius, uh, generally looking after anything north of Birmingham in the UK, really, including Scotland. So quite a big region to look after. Uh, but yeah, generally introducing golf clubs to the software uh, and then implementing during the onboarding process. So yeah, really excited to deliver a presentation today on open events and, and how many of our customers are currently utilizing the software to to enhance the experience, save time and uh, drive some some revenue through it as well. Thanks, Jake. That sounds great. I know open competitions are um, the lifeblood of many a golf club around uh, the UK and Ireland. So uh, I look forward to hearing about how Golf Genius can support that, um, that particular revenue stream at golf clubs. So uh, if you want to go into a presentation, we'll have a chat as we go through and uh, hopefully we'll all learn something in the next 15 minutes or so. Brilliant. Um, so, yeah, I've just touched on it. It's generally presentation today to talk about open events uh, and invitations and, and, and the visitor experience. So how we at Golf Genius uh, see open competitions fitting in within the club environment and how we can help you as a club manager uh, streamline open competition management, drive some new revenue and uh, provide revenue opportunities uh, across those open events as well. Um, and how we can elevate the player experience and, and why we feel that's so important as well. Uh, so before we do that, just a really quick agenda um, topics that we'll focus on. So we'll run through really quickly a brief introduction to Golf Genius. Many of your membership will now be aware of, of Golf Genius, what we do and what we're all about. But there's also some new parts to, to what we're doing that we'd like to introduce to your membership as well. Uh, the shop window. So again, coming back to the focus of open events, they're what we see them as generally a shop window for golf clubs to promote their facilities um not just one piece of it but the overall experience golfers get at golf clubs um how the system can make those open events efficient so how we can save the club manager time uh, and make them more productive uh, how we can drive additional revenue through these events uh, and how we can make them more profitable and how some of the additional features of Golf Genius uh, can help golf club managers deliver exceptional open events. And then we'll just summarize that with a final reflection. Sounds good. Okay, so a little bit about Golf Genius and our story, Darren, you'll know this better than most. Um, obviously Golf Genius based out in the US, um, originally founded in the US, but very much an international business. Uh, so we provide now across multiple facets, uh, innovative solution to help golf industry professionals uh, save time, um, generate more revenue um, and deliver exceptional golf experiences. So how can we work together with the club manager and the club professional um, to improve that experience for the players? Uh, we feel that by combining the very best of golf tradition um, with digital innovation, we can help clubs deliver uh, those memorable experiences. Um, a little bit about our background and where it was all derived from. Uh, Golf Genius was originally formed in 2009. Uh, it was, funnily enough, actually originally formed as a trip management solution. So for golf buddies um, to potentially run a, a five, six day golf trip um, away and providing a solution to manage that. Uh, a couple of years later, we jumped and delved into the league solution, which is a very popular way of playing golf over in the U.S., um, we then built a club product, which was formed and launched in 2014, which was very quickly adopted by the USGA in 2016 to supply a tournament management solution into all USGA affiliated golf clubs. Um, so that's really when the product took off in, in the club environment. Uh, and we also started working uh, with the USGA to run all of their events um, and elite amateur championships. Uh, and we, at the same point, started working with what's known as the Allied Golf Associations in the US, which I suppose you could look at the national associations here, like England Golf, Scottish Golf, uh, Wales Golf, Golf Island, and the local associations of which we're working with many of in the UK now as well. Um, obviously, the World Handicap System opened a lot of doors for us, and that was around about the time that England Golf came on board uh, to manage all of their championships here in the UK as well. Uh, and we've recently started working with Golf Island uh, and Wales Golf as well. 
Thanks, Jake. Just uh, just touching on that a little bit. Uh, a, a recent conversation I had with with Craig Higgs, your your managing director, international managing director. Uh, one of one of the things that came across to me was that because you are a global provider, that that brings the opportunity of using that expertise outside of just the UK to bring into the UK market, so that our golf clubs in this country benefit from that international development and international experience. So um, it's certainly good to to see that side of the Golf Genius product and how it the international side can benefit the UK side. We think so. Um, so we're working across lots of different markets that can make life quite difficult for us sometimes trying to cater for all of those markets. But what it does allow us to do, as you say, is, is take the pieces that we think work really well. Um, and I suppose one aspect where you could compare that to is, is the introduction of the World Handicap System. You know, the World Handicap System has been introduced as a, as a standardization, really, uh, to try and get everybody on a level playing field, but also taking parts of the different handicapping elements and putting it into one product to hopefully make it better for everybody. Um, and that's exactly, I suppose, what we can do within Golf Genius. By being a global supplier, we can take the parts that we feel work really well within the solution and bring that to other parts of, of the world and obviously bring it to the membership here in the UK as well. Fantastic. Um, and again, talking a little bit about not just Golf Genius, but technology in golf. Um, Outside of golf, you know, one aspect that we've seen, and you, you could say that COVID and uh, the World Handicap System supercharged that a little bit, but golfers within the game now have almost become to expect uh, premium experiences. Not just golfers, but people in general have become a little bit more selective with how they're spending their leisure time. So the level of experience and the expectation has, has risen a little bit. And that may be, as I say, a little to do with COVID, um, but also um, the fact that there is more demand for technology outside of golf. So golfers are beginning to expect a level of experience that they're getting in other industries. Um, and that's why we feel that technology and golf genius in part to help enhance that experience and why technology is so important. It's there to help you as a golf club save time, but also deliver a better experience for the membership. And we feel that technology is becoming a much more required tool within the club environment to, to help deliver a better experience. Uh, and technology and the technology ecosystem within a golf club um, is a big part of that. Thanks, Jake. Just looking at the, the quote that was on the, the previous screen from Steve Carroll, the editor yeah. of the National Club Golfer, um, I think he's he's not afraid of putting a, a statement out there, Steve. Uh, and he, but he can really back it up. And even our uh, demographic of um, golf club managers, our, our recent survey would would back up what what um, Steve's saying there about the need to service those thirty something golfers that are, are comfortable with the technology and exactly what you say that almost demands to use technology alongside the traditions of golf. So. Interesting food for thought there from Steve and uh, something I think the industry is working hard to address. Well, I think that's it. And, and certainly with Steve, there's, there's not many people better placed to have an opinion on it. You know, I think he's the editor of the club golf section within National Club Golfer and also the GCMA magazine, isn't he? So yeah. you know, he's having these conversations on a daily basis with people in the industry. Um and uh, yeah, I think he's he, he speaks a lot of the same language that we do about how technology can can enhance the experience, not just for the golfers, but for the club manager. How can technology yeah. make your life better? Absolutely. Uh, and just coming on that topic, I suppose, um, of software, you know, quick quote from Rory McIlroy. Most people will know Rory is an investor in the business, um, very influential and passionate person within the game of golf and he always says he's here within golf genius to help the timeless game of golf keep its traditions but move into the digital era um, and he says that innovation is is vital to that and that's something we strongly believe in you know always innovating to try and make the playing experience and the experience of, of golf better for for everybody uh, and not just the select few so Coming on to our first topic, so go open golf events, the opportunity they present to you uh, and why they're so important to the golf club environment and the club golfer. Um, before we jump into that, quick 
visibility of the touch points, I suppose, that your golf club offers. Um, so the touch points when visiting golfers are coming to potentially play in your open competitions, all the way from the first point of booking all the way through to playing and then viewing that information online. So where Golf Genius fits into that, we obviously have a number of products in the market now um, working across these different areas within your business. So within tournament management, you know, we can provide handicapping and event management across not just the golf course, but across practice facilities. So how can you start running managed events and competitions across simulators, driving range, you know, people using top tracer or track man range, whatever it might be. How can Golf Genius help you as a facility engage with these different markets and actually run things like weekly leagues and competitions? Uh, and tournament management is there, obviously, to help run these events across all different areas of your business, uh, across your membership events, visiting golf, not just open competitions, but golf days and societies and group bookings as well. Um, outside of that, we've got a new product launching this year in the UK, Coach360, which is effectively an all-in-one coaching solution for the golf professional. So anything from scheduling lessons to interacting with your students to organizing all your lesson notes and video, analyzing that video and providing instruction and obviously reviewing uh, player progress. So the opportunity for players to post things like their, their weekly scores in there and for the coach to analyze that and potentially book a lesson if they've not played so well. Uh, Operation 36 within the same environment, um, but slightly different in the way that it's there to help golf professionals again attract beginners, whether it be juniors or adults, and provide them with a pathway to work their way from picking up a golf club uh, to playing nine holes on the golf course. Um, and furthermore, touching across retail and, and sort of staff management, we've launched Golf Shop um, at the back end of last year in the UK as well. So golf shop providing all your retail needs from you know stock orders to special orders to pre-orders as well so you can allow your members to to pre-order certain pieces of of kit um all the way to demo clubs staff scheduling and club repairs as well so we're really starting to cover off that broad offering um to help golf clubs and the touch points that they have when they have these golfers visiting their club Okay, so open events and uh, invitations and visitor days. So we see this as, as very much an opportunity for golf clubs to showcase the whole experience, not just one part of the club, but showcasing the whole experience. That's why the presentation is so key. Uh, obviously, a lot of the time playing in these open competitions provides good value. So we think it's a, a great opportunity for you to further generate revenue from this business so how do you convert this business from somebody coming to play in an open competition where it's great value how do you get those golfers to become more regular so whether it's a local golfer that may potentially become a member of the club or a golfer that's potentially traveling from further afield but to potentially go back to their club or their group of friends and talk about just how good that experience was so that they bring those friends back uh, it's all about showcasing the club in the very best light to try and drive additional revenue through it. So we've got hundreds of golf clubs now in the UK utilizing Golf Genius um, and running their open events. Generally, we see in the region of 100, often upwards of 100 golfers playing in these open events each time. So the shop window that these events present is generally 100 plus visitors that could potentially provide additional future business for you at the club. Uh, most of these golfers that enter are avid golfers. Yes, it's playing in a social environment, but there's a competitive edge. So they're generally highly engaged with the game of golf, uh, spending large proportions of their disposable income uh, on not just aspirational golf experiences, but golf equipment. So how can you better present your offering at the club uh, to drive a little bit more loyalty from these golf golfers? Um, and as I touch on, it's very much the opportunity for you to showcase showcase your golf club in the very best light. So the you know, the different elements of that. So your membership, how can you showcase the benefits of being a member of the golf club when coming and playing in something like an open competition or an invitation day at your club? Yeah, presenting the golf course and the practice facilities in the very best way, which is often you know the first thing that golf clubs will do when they're playing uh, hosting an open competition is ensure that the golf course is presented in the very best way. But there's more to it than just that. The academy and coaching, you're presenting 
the opportunities that you offer to these golfers so that they're potentially coming back in that way. Uh, retail, your digital presence. So again, I touched on it briefly before. Your open events, it's not all about the day. It's all about the before, the during and the after. How do you make that experience as, as good as possible before, during and after? Food and beverage, obviously a big part of that. Again, golfers, when playing in open events, it's a big part of, of their days enjoying the food and beverage on offer as well. So how can you inspire them to inquire and purchase in the future? And it comes back to what I touched on before. It's providing that premium experience across your open competitions, not just on the day. It's before, during and after. And I think that's a really important piece. It's not just about the day of the event. It's how you present your golf club in the build up, during and after the event itself as well. We understand that can be challenging. We understand that providing a premium experience within a golf club, often limited resource and, and team members, it can be a real challenge. Um, we feel that's where the software can come into play. So how can Golf Genius and, and other software within the game, how can that help you? It's generally a case of using the software in the right way um, to elevate that experience, but to make you a little bit more efficient. How can the technology make your life easier? How can it save you time? Uh, so, yeah, again, some of the problems that you may come across, so managing the large field sizes and the operational headaches with that, the time sensitive activity uh, to plan and manage these events. Again, if you lacked and limited on the resource available, generally it may be a volunteer or the competition secretary that's potentially helping the management of these events. So how can you make it easier for them to manage them? Golfers, again, seeking these aspirational experiences sometimes without the resource it's very difficult to do that which again is where the technology comes into play to make your life a little bit easier to do that and there's obviously lots of competition as well you know golf clubs within the area and outside your local area will be running open competitions probably every day of the summer so how do you compete with that it's all about providing a usp and having the right tools and the resources available to do that and again that's where technology comes into play to do that so how do we do it I'm going to run through now some of the features within Golf Genius that have been utilized and very popular by our current customer base um, to make you a little bit more efficient when running these events. So some of the current pain points, time sensitive and lacking coordination. So again, there may be potentially multiple systems in place or you may be managing some of this information across the spreadsheet. You may be potentially taking booking in various ways and then trying to manage that competition in a spreadsheet. Uh, dealing with inquiries, are you doing that in one place or are you essentially taking registration and, and inquiries in various ways? Are you still accepting online registration? Are you still taking paper registration or over the phone? How can you streamline that and get it all in one place to make it easier for you as the administrator? How can you better communicate with players and keep it regular? When somebody enters one of your open competitions, are you still in communication with them? Or is the next time you talk to them the day of the event? Again, how can technology make that better for you? Automated communi communi communication tools, and we'll touch on that shortly. So how much time is it currently taking you uh, to run these events? Often more than it needs to be. Uh, the finance element, so managing the financial aspects of it. So again, coming back to multiple ways of people registering, how are you dealing with those entry fees? Are you having problems with refunds because you're potentially oversubscribing into these events and people paying, but then how are you managing the refund element? And again, lack of control of that because you're taking payment in various methods. And then the management of player data. So again, are you collecting the information that you need? So obviously with handicapping, if you're not collecting the relevant information from people um, that are registering for events, are you actually getting all the information that you need to get from them, um, such as CDH numbers, so that on the day of a tournament, you've got the relevant updated playing handicaps because you've got the CDH numbers in the system as well. So again, how can we make it easier for you to collect that information, ensure it's all in one place and to save you the time that's spent chasing that information in the build up to an event? Just sorry, Joe, just touching on one aspect of that, there, yeah. the, um, just the, the financial side, the refund side. 
um, of the Golf Genius offering. I know from uh, my previous role, which was working in technology, as many people know, um, managing refunds for golf club was often a, a, a challenge and a uh, and something they were always seeking to find a more efficient way of managing. So um, just judging from some of the managers I've already spoken to recently and who I spoke to in the previous role, being able to manage refunds through Golf Genius is one of the key motivators that, that led them to look in that direction for a solution. And then all of a sudden they've encouraged um, the membership and uh, visitors to embrace the overall experience of having an open day run by the Golf Genius product. Um, so I think just from an efficiency point of view, from an administration point of view, managing refunds in the way that Golf Genius do is uh, is a massive tick in the box for many golf clubs that I've spoken to anyway. Yeah, that's it. And you know, one thing that we generally say is that it's not prescriptive. You know, there's various ways within Golf Genius to actually manage your open events, for instance. And, and like I say, whether it be dealing with your entry fees and refunds, again, there's more than one way to manage that. Uh, and we'll touch on that in a second. But yeah, a lot of our customers find that tool really useful. Um, the fact that you can avoid the need to have to do any manual refunds um, by utilising Golf Genius registration for these events. OK, so we've got a case study here. Uh, Lindrick Golf Club, long term customer of us, of ours at Golf Genius. Uh, I'm going to focus a little bit on them as a whole and how they're utilising Golf Genius, but also more importantly on the Danny Willick Salva. Um, so coming back to your original point, they're utilising a feature in Golf Genius called pending registration, Darren, which avoids mm -hmm. them requiring the need to do any manual refunds, which I'll come to shortly. So, so Lindrick Golf Club uh, in South Yorkshire, um, past Ryder Cup venue, uh, utilising Golf Genius for their open competitions, um, member events uh, and golf days as well. Uh, and the great thing regarding the open competition setup is that the flexibility of Golf Genius uh, allows the club to actually manage those open open competitions and use the system uh, in a number of different ways. Um, so for a handful of their open competitions, they utilize BRS as well. Um, and they're utilizing BRS for open competition booking for a handful of those opens. Uh, really powerful T booking solutions. So they utilize BRS for, like I say, a handful of their open competitions for booking. But by utilizing Golf Genius integration, we have a daily sync which we switch on so anybody that books into an open competition via brs all of that player data then automatically populates into the competition in golf genius so although they're using two systems because there's a live integration in place there and a daily sync by the time you come around to the day of play all of that player information is in golf genius for you to do all the handicap calculations based on the competition being played the opportunity to present the competition in a real professional way online. As you can see here on the screen, that's one of the Golf Genius event portals uh, that Lindrick have used for the Danny Willett Salva. Um, and outside of the BRS integration, for a number of their more complicated open competitions with complicated features regarding registration, they're actually utilizing Golf Genius for registration. So if we focus now on the Danny Willett Salva, as I say, what they do there is it's a 72 hole uh, Wagger event in conjunction with Workshop Golf Club. Um, and the club utilizes online registration through Golf Genius. So players register and pay uh, via Golf Genius to enter this event. But as I mentioned before, they're using a feature called pending registration. So there is a field size limit of 72 golfers and they do a ballot based on World Amateur Golf ranking points uh, and player handicap indexes and again because there's international players entering that ballot is really important um so player field is is limited to 72 but often they may have upwards of 100 150 golfers actually entering this event um, so pending registration allows the club to take those 150 registrants even though there's only 72 places in the event all register and they all go onto what we call the pending list, which is a bit like a waiting list. So all those players then sit on the pending registration list. And then when the club is ready to make that ballot, so when registration closes, for instance, they can then go through based on wagger points and handicap. They can then move the players, the 72 that have made the ballot. They can confirm those players. And then all 72 players are confirmed and charged at that point because at the point of registration, the players still provide their credit card details. So then all those 72 players are charged 
And the remaining 50, 60 golfers that haven't made the ballot, there's no requirement for any manual refunds. And that not only works really well across events like this, but even for something like, you know, a seniors open, um, where it could be a four ball better ball or, or a team two from four open, where you might have tee booking. So people enter the event and they actually select their tee time. When that's full, players can still register for the event and go onto the waiting list. So again, that's really useful if you have any cancellations. So if you have a group the week before the event potentially cancel their tee time in, in a seniors open, you can really quickly move a team from the, the waiting list straight into the confirmed list without having to re-advertise the event and try and fill it. You've got those golfers sat waiting on the on the waiting list, which again, as you touched on before, really useful tool to have. So just going to walk you through really quickly that registration process um, that players go through. So you'll see there what that golfer's doing is actually submitting registration for approval. So they're submitting that registration to, to wait on the, uh, the pending list go through, they're going to pay their registration fee and provide their, their credit card details, but they won't be charged until they're actually confirmed and potentially made the ballot. So again, avoiding any need for doing 50 or 60 manual refunds, the system will take care of all of that. And that is a really popular tool uh, within Golf Genius. Another important point here, just whilst we're utilizing the registration form, these registration forms are fully customizable and I'll touch on it shortly, but again, a way of improving your efficiencies. These open events can be really long days, not just for, for the golfers, but for your staff. So these registration forms and the fact that they're fully customizable can come in to play and be really useful. So when everybody's registering, you may even take information such as a lunch pre-order, Darren. So somebody potentially protect, you know, selecting from five or six options for their lunch order. So then on the day of play, you can hand the tea sheet over to the kitchen staff with players lunch orders. So, you know, you know, Darren Wood plus three friends at teeing off at eight o'clock expected back in the clubhouse at 1230. And you've got their four lunch orders ready. So you can then That's get awesome. the food ready because you've already collected that information. Uh, you'll, you'll see if you play in an open competition, sometimes there'll be a list out on the registration desk for you to put down your lunch order there. And then a lot of people don't fill it in. So it's really easy this way to make it mandatory to select your lunch order, for instance, yeah. at the point of registration. I think just, just very quickly recapping what you just said there, I think going back to one of the other slides about providing a premium experience at golf clubs, you know, in the background, improving the efficiency of, of how this event is managed that then translate to the golfers having a fantastic day with the food ready for them. Um, online portals to look to, to book into that look really slick and easy to use. Uh, one phrase that you've used there a little while ago was um, prescriptive, uh, not being prescriptive, but allowing golf clubs to really utilize the technology with the flexibility of it to create a, uh, a unique experience that's going to be right for them. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just screaming out at me that, you know, as a, as a golfer, um, it is a premium experience. And to, to be able to allow the golf club management behind the scenes to improve their efficiencies, um, I think is, is uh, to coin a horrible phrase, a no-brainer. Yeah, well, it's just like, say, it can be a godsend sometimes. Certainly, you know, on, on days like this where you may have upwards of 140, 150 players playing the course on a day, yeah. often visitors, so it can be quite a long day for your staff. So anything to make that easier. And like I say, just one example of that would be potentially doing a pre-order for lunch yeah. um, and the ability for your kitchen staff to be better organised by having that information. And again, it's better for the players because they're not then having to fill in all different pieces of paper forms on the day. They just arrive, they check in, they receive their competition information, they get a drink and a bacon roll or whatever it might be. They go and play their golf. They come in off the golf course and the lunch is pretty much ready for them as they come in. There's no waiting around or anything like that. But just again, how can the software help you deliver a better experience? And that's just one part of it. Um, so moving on, uh, a little bit more about Golf Genius and our registration tools. So see here, Royal Birkdale utilizing Golf Genius for all their open competition bookings. So what you can see on the screen here is what we call an event directory. 
So obviously, once you've built your open competitions in Golf Genius, we can then build out a directory of events. These directories can be embedded directly on your club website, as Royal Birkdale have done here, or you can just place a link uh, on your website, which brings the golfers to the directory. They can then view your list of open competitions uh, nice and detailed. It tells you when it's open. It tells you when it closes. Uh, and you can get further information. And the minute I click on one of these events, it will take me through to the event portal where I can see all the event information and I can register for that event. And that's just one way of doing it. I'll show you. We've got a solution called Golf Hub as well to do it slightly differently, but real nice premium way of managing that. And if you want to customize those, whether it be with you know club promotions, internal promotions or sponsor promotions, you can do that as well. Really useful. So we call these directory of events. Great way for you to present all your club open events uh, and take not just individual, but team registration. And again, added flexibility. If it's a four ball, better ball tournament, for instance, you might allow a pair to register or you might allow one golfer to register two pairs. So they're booking a four ball, for instance. But again, we often see that, you know, that might be something that's quite popular. You know, even if it's a four ball, better ball format, so you're playing in pairs. Um, often it may be a group of four golfers potentially coming to play the event. So giving them the opportunity for one person to be the lead booker, but collecting the data for all four golfers, which is really important. So enhancing the chance for you to capture that data as well for, for all players and not just one of them. Uh, and that's, again, coming back to the custom registration forms, which helps. Um, so they're fully bespoke. Uh, and again, touched on that previously with regards to potentially collecting any information. Um, but, you know, totally customizable and bespoke in terms of what information you're going to collect. And when you have got a team open event, for instance, really useful to be able to collect the data for all four players and not just the person creating the booking. So growing that database of local golfers in your market that you can further market the club to. And again, that can be anything, um, all the way from contact information, handicap, CDH numbers, demographical information, uh, meal pre-orders. And even if they require a rental set or a buggy or a trolley, for instance, you may allow them to book that there and then and even pay for it with add-ons as well. All done through Golf Genius. Um, it's not... As we say, it's not prescriptive. It's very much how you want to do it. If you want to take open competition booking with open tee time, so golfers are selecting their tee times out of the tee sheet, we, we, we cater for that. Alternatively, if you're doing time zone booking, so you know a golfer may be booking between 8 and 10 or 10 and 12, again, providing the opportunity to do it that way. Um, all the opportunity to just register into the event and then for you guys at the club to do the draw again. Massive, massive flexibility within the system to allow you to do it uh, your own way. OK, so just talk a little bit about the solution itself. Um, and again, we just got a nice quote there from John at, at Lindrick, who's obviously utilizing Golf Genius really well. Um, but the opportunity for you to build out your templated events so you can really quickly replicate events. Once you've run an event one year, you can really quickly clone that. Once you've run, for instance, you know, a better ball event or a team two from four event, you can really quickly clone those events moving forward. So you're not having to recreate them time and time again. Lots of automation built into the, pro in, into the program. So again, we're talking about not just the registration, but the communication coming back to an earlier point where, once a player has registered for an open event, how are you communicating with them? So you can set up what we call marketing campaigns within Golf Genius. So when somebody has registered for an event, you can set up a series of automated communication within marketing campaigns to then communicate and you know future events, whether it be future golf events or whether you're doing promotions or whether you've got social events that are open to non-members, the opportunity to further promote that and automate that promotion as well to fill future events, which is really important. Um, eligibility criteria, but maybe, maybe something else that you require within the club. So again, junior opens may be one where you make sure people are, you know, under 18 from a certain date, for instance, anybody over that, that, that age at that point won't be able to enter, or if it's gender specific, or again, senior events where they need to be over a certain age the opportunity to define all that eligibility criteria uh, within the system as well. So moving on, um, 
hopefully we've given you a good overview there as to how the system can make it a little bit more efficient for you as a golf club. Uh, we're now going to talk about some of the features within the system uh, to make it a bit more profitable for you. So unfulfilled opportunities. So depending on how you're taking registration for these open competitions, are you suffering from empty spots? Are you suffering from late cancellations, for instance? Again, we've already spoken about how Golf Genius can help you fill those spots without having to re-promote them or reopen those events for registration. Pending registration is a great feature within the system that allows you to ensure that you've got reserves in place to do that. Um, not only that, Golf Genius provides a real nice front end facing with, with multiple ways of doing that um, to promote these events online. So whether that be through your directories on your website, across social media, really quick and easy to promote them there, or whether it be through Golf Hub, which will come to shortly. Again, an opportunity to drive more revenue. Are you struggling with assets to promote local sponsors? You may have whole sponsors, T signs, no longer cut it, I'm afraid. Generally, what people are looking for is more digital assets. How can you present your club sponsors, your whole sponsors in a more digital front facing way to the golfers and get your information for the sponsors in front of the golfers more often than, than just the T sign that a lot of golfers might not see. So what else could you be selling to these potential sponsors and partners looking for value? And again, a lack of a central payment channel. There's still a lot of golf clubs out there that are taking registration not for all open competitions but for some of those that have you know complicated features as we've spoken about there's still a lot of open events in the marketplace where you know it's a scratch event and they're still taking paper entry because they don't believe there's a system out there to help cater for refunds and ballots and all the complications that come with it golf genius provides you with that so how can we enhance the payment channel as well Various ways people can play, as we see. <clears throat> okay, so I just mentioned there, Darren, briefly, Golf Hub. So Golf Hub is a new feature built in within uh, tournament management. So we can see Hillside here as an example, uh, utilizing Golf Genius Golf Hub. So it's an opportunity for you to further promote all of your events in one place. Um, golfers can see how many people have registered for them. Um, and how many spaces are potentially available. But great feature within that is the opportunity to register for multiple open events at the club in one go. So, you know, potentially register for, you know, if you do two seniors opens throughout the year and, and maybe a scratch open or whatever it might be, a gents open, a team open pairs, the opportunity for golfers to register themselves and their friends uh, into events. And Golf Hub's just a slightly different UI to the event directory example that we touched on before with Birkdale. Uh, it's just a different UI, but again, the opportunity for golfers to see all those open events. And when you do wish to register, as you can see in the example there, it's going to redirect you there straight into the event portal to actually go through and pay for it. And you can enter multiple opens in one go. Not only that, it's starting to build up a network of clubs. So, you know, if you are looking to enter an open at Hillside, you can also see within Golf Hub opens at, you know, a local club like Birkdale and, and like Southport and Ainsdale, for instance. So golfers can enter the open competitions at all their favourite courses in an area in one, one in one go, in one clean swoop. They're not having to go yeah. to various different places to do it. Visibility of that is all in one place. Uh, and again, payment processing included within that, currently via Stripe. Um, no additional commissions taken by Golf Genius. The only fees with payment processing is obviously your, your Stripe fees. Uh, to pay as well yeah that looks really good i've worked a lot with hillside in the previous job so mm -hmm. um to see them you know put, putting things through the golf club like that it's a uh, uh again that, that user experience is um is is ticking a few boxes there it looks really good well, the great thing with Golf Hub is the not not just the way it's presented and the nice looking UIs, um, but the opportunity to just place those links straight across social media. Other golfers can share this, so you can share across your own social media. So really quickly, if you're a player that you know you notice that Hillside Gents Opens just open, and there's a group of 16, 20 of you, which there always are in opens like this, the first golfer that sees that can really quickly share that link 
across Twitter, Facebook Messenger, whatever it might be with their group of friends, uh, WhatsApp. So really quick and easy opportunities for golfers to then promote those events for you as well uh, within their own friendship groups. So talking a little bit more about some of the sponsorship opportunities and the touch points within Golf Genius, um, there's quite a lot of that within, within the system. So lots of opportunity for you to, to further promote, uh, not necessarily just whole sponsors, but one thing that Golf Genius presents, because you're building out those event portals, you could even go as far as having an open competition sponsor change every single time. So each time you host an open comp, you, know, you might have... A, a network of local businesses that you know are, are generally quite well engaged with sponsorship opportunities you may go as far as taking on a, a headline sponsor for each of your open competitions um, and one thing that you know you can do um, just see if I can replay that video quickly uh, one thing you can do within the system, if we just have a look here, is provide whole sponsorship opportunities as well. So you see the banner across the bottom and then you can have mobile pages popping up as well. So again, further opportunity to promote those whole sponsors so that everybody playing an event sees that as they're playing, going around the golf course. And it's not just great for promoting, you know, sponsors, but also further promote internal activity at the club. You may use this as an opportunity to promote after the ninth hole, not to forget the halfway house, for instance, you know, and remind them what's on order. So you might have, you know, hot pies, sausage rolls, whatever it might be. We all know the famous sausage rolls around the country and the hotspots for those. The opportunity to promote that within the app. So when somebody's popped the scores in after the eighth or ninth hole, whenever that might be, the opportunity just to drop a reminder in there about the halfway house as well. Um, and again, not just within the app, but across your TV leaderboards, which you can see there, and obviously across the printed materials as well. You can further promote event sponsors um, in various ways uh, by utilising Golf Genius and, and the features that the uh, the, soft, the software provides. Well, that's really good, that. Um, sausage rolls and uh, <laughs> pies, pasty sandwiches at halfway houses are um, definitely on everybody's agenda when they're looking for somewhere to play. Well, it's always... Something as a bit of a perk me up if you're not playing so well on the front nine, isn't it? So that's a, a nice reminder can just cheer you up a little bit. Mm. OK, so moving on as to some of the feature sets now within Golf Genius as to how we can actually help you uh, deliver a better playing experience. One of the key issues often with open events and trying to make them engageable and keep people engaged with them is a lack of a USP. Does an open event just feel like every other open event? How do you make them special? How do you make them stand out? And one thing I often talk about with customers is not necessarily doing this just for your open events and invitation days, but obviously your key member events as well. Golf Genius presents a feature set that really enables you to enhance that experience. So how can you make those special events feel like a special event okay it's not just another saturday medal roll up whatever it might be it's making those bigger events feel extra special um, and providing that usp to do that um so again how can we help you as a golf club stand out from the crowd um, and engage that digital event experience how are you differentiating the formats? So again, one thing that we think is really important is keeping these open events fun. Open events provide you as a club with a great opportunity to try things a little bit outside the box, mix it up, maybe do a scramble, whatever it might be. And doing so, you're appealing to all different golfers. You're appealing to individuals, pairs, groups, teams, the different formats that you can do across open competitions enable you to engage with all those different markets. Are you providing a, a user-friendly experience? Is it easy and simple is the main thing, really, for those golfers to follow everything relating to an event? So is it simple for them to register? Is it a simple experience for them on the day? So is it a quick registration and check-in, collect my scorecard, code for live scoring, whatever it might be, a reminder of the order of play, the competition, pre-calculated handicaps do you have all that information ready for the golfers on arrival so that they're not arriving and scrapping around for their cdh numbers to find out what their active handicap is have you got all that ready for them to make them as 
make that experience on the day as simple as possible. And then obviously after the event, you're presenting information relating to that event online in a really easy, simple way so that players aren't having to email you, phone you, looking for those competition results. Have you presented them in a real professional way so that it's easy for all those golfers to find? Okay, so our solution. Uh, again, we obviously spoke a little bit about our relationship with England Golf, and you can see another event directory experience there. Uh, but just to walk through some of the key features within Golf Genius. So it's about providing that tall level experience. And again, we feel that open competitions are a way for every golf club to be able to do that. Can you provide live TV leaderboards, and not just leaderboards, but welcome screens, welcoming all the players to your golf club on the day of an open with tee times on arrival? And then once they start filtering back into the club, have you got a nice live looking TV leaderboard on there? Some of the additional key features that we'll touch on mobile scoring, or a professional customized printed scorecards with just the information for the day, not providing these golfers with all the irrelevant tee information, just the information that's applicable to them on that day. Uh, event websites, again, improving the presentation before, during and after. Uh, the personalized communications, so fully personalized emails and text messages, reminding players the day before an event of the order of play, for instance, with a nice custom text message. Um, how can you do that to better communicate and engage with these golfers before, during and after your open events? OK, so score entry. Uh, again, one thing that I suppose is a slight misconception with Golf Genius. A lot of people think it's just live scoring. Obviously, we're fully integrated with the World Handicap System, um, the approved ISV with, within all the home nations within the UK. And the Highland. Um, so the opportunity for you to, to utilize mobile scoring is just one part of it. You can see there, real nice professional looking custom scorecard. You can go as far as, as adding pace of play in there as well. So we can see here that, you know, you can include a player's tee time where they should be on the golf course after so long. So if it takes 15 minutes to finish the first hole, you know, you're teeing off at 8.30, you should have finished the first by, by 8.45. You can include information like that. You can also include stroke dots, so highlighting where players are receiving their shots on the course. You can also see the same here in the mobile scoring, digital scorecards for qualifying events. And we also provide terminal. So if you do you know, prefer scorecard and terminal input, so players go out on the golf course, they fill in their scorecards, they come back in, even for open competitions, they can check in. And then once they finish their round, they can enter their CDH numbers and they can put in their hole by hole scores for the competition. So again, providing you with the flexibility and choice uh, to do it your own way, uh, which is really important. Some clubs even do manual input still. So, you know, players go off onto the golf course, again, utilizing a premium scorecard, custom to the day. They come back, back to the registration desk, hand the scorecard in and you might enter the scores for them. Um, and again, as soon as that information's in, generates into the live leaderboard. Uh, Again, improving the presentation of these golf days. And then just some final reflections, uh, just to focus, I suppose, on, on how we feel Golf Genius can help improve open events at your golf club and, uh, and uh, why we think open events are still such a big, big part of the business within, within the golf club environment. Uh, we feel it's the best opportunity that golf clubs have to promote their club to drive direct revenue and obviously sell in future services. Like I say, are you engaging with that local community of golfers that may be the members of the future? Or are you engaging with golfers that are traveling further afield that might bring 16 golfers back from their home club? Um, how can you better showcase your golf club to provide the very best possible experiences? And we feel that can only really be done by having a seamless integrated solution. And as I say, not a case of just having one, one piece of software out there. It's a case of having a solution that's integrated and it works seamlessly from the player's perspective. So whether they're utilizing BRS for booking and Golf Genius to run the tournament outside of BRS, there's obviously other providers that we integrate with as well in terms of a booking solution. But one thing you will find within Golf Genius is that the booking solution we provide is extremely flexible um, and it's comprehensive to be able to cater for anything. 
Most golf clubs don't have the tools. We still see today many golf clubs taking registration in various forms, whether it be you know online or over the phone or still taking paper entry forms. How can we automate that to take away the workload from, from you at the club and make it better for the golfers? Uh, and the result of that is generally lost revenue, lost time uh, and a bad golfer experience. We think Golf Genius can improve all aspects of that um, for golf clubs up and down the UK. Jake, that's, um, that's fantastic. Uh, I guess this is towards the end of the last slide now. Yeah, just summarise there. Um, so, yeah, obviously, if anyone wants to learn a little bit more, they can they can scan the QR code they can go through and, and complete our survey um, or they can book a demo um, to find out a little bit more uh, about Golf Genius and how we can help. Thanks, Jake. Um, just a couple of reflections of my own on that. Um, I think it's coming across long and clear, loud and clear, I should say, that Golf Genius is offering a, a flexible comprehensive solution to create those premium events at golf clubs and to help with the administration of those events. Um, I think one of the keys that you started off one of the very first slides with around the open cons was the challenges of managing large field events. Um, and I think those challenges are, are, are certainly something every golfer uh, appreciates and every golf club needs better help with, uh, with managing. So I think looking at some of the solutions you had on the screen there, um, I think is is key to to being able to provide that best in class um, experience for golf clubs and those administrating those experiences. Whatever software you use at golf clubs, I think golfers and golf club management are now making sure and asking more of that technology mm. to ensure that it's ticking more of these more modern boxes about how people are digesting their golf, what the modern golfer uh, looks like. And um, a, a previous conversation I know we've had with some of our regions is around tradition and technology and how they can work seamlessly together uh, rather than opposing each other. And I think this is a fantastic example of how these traditional golf events can be managed in a modern, um, efficient, uh, integrated way uh, to provide a solution for golf clubs. So um, everybody out there managing these type of competitions needs to look at what they're using and make sure it's um, ticking all the boxes for them because well, golfers are demanding that, I think, now. Well, that's it. And, you know, again, coming back to, to some of the features within that and, you know, the technology and how it's helping clubs, you know, the registration tools, not necessarily just being utilised across golf events, but social events too. You know, if you've got a real busy social calendar within your golf club, you know, we talk about those custom registration forms. How are you taking registration for social events? Again, often it'll be a lot of you know paper forms or email confirming attendance at a social event. Can you create a portal utilizing Golf Genius to allow your members to register for social events where they can you know place their meal choice, they can book themselves and three guests? You know, again, thinking outside the box, the golf club environment is much bigger than just playing golf. And yeah. providing a solution, like I say, to cater for all aspects of that. So whether it be a golf event or a social event, Golf Genius provides the tools to automate a lot of what you're doing. Fantastic, Jake. I think we could probably talk all day and all week about um, how golf clubs can be supported by technology and what the modern golfer is looking for. But for today, I think we're going to leave it there with the open events. There's a lot for people to digest there. So I do suggest that people watch this a couple of times because there's lots of nuggets. I've took loads of notes from what we talked about there just for my own golf club to look at. Um, so Jake, can I thank you again um, and the Golf Genius team for spending some time with us today and our GCMA members. Um, you've mentioned how they can get in touch. There's a QR code on the screen. Um, and please go to our partner page on the GCMA website where all our partners are listed, including Golf Genius. Um, so Jake, thanks again and we'll hope to see you in a, a podcast or a, a recording very soon. Thanks again, Darren. Really enjoyed it. Take care everyone and we'll see you next time.